Hola, konnichiwa, it's your friendly neighborhood goon, Chua Loco here. This is an impromptu video because I'm selling this PC sooner than I thought I would, and it's time to get rid of it because I'm selling it. Obviously, I just said that, I repeated myself. So this video is gonna be really short, no editing, but here's the PC, Ryzen 5 3600X, 1660 Super, 16 gigs Corsair RAM, 32 megahertz, beautiful, love it. Um, cool thing about this PC, is that the RGB is controlled by the reset switch here. So, okay, fine, I'll show you since you guys asked. Boom, so it just changes between the lights, but it only controls the case fans. It doesn't control the um, fans up here or the cooler or the motherboard lights over here, right? That's what the RGB software is for. Um, and then I have MSI Afterburner that starts up with Windows so I can control the fans profile on the GPU. Perfect. Okay. Well, um, I'll get to listing other information about the PC. Uh, it's going to be in the specs, uh, full spec list. Um, but yeah, I just want to do a quick video because I was actually planning on taking a lot more time to kind of showcase this PC, but I'm going to take some better pictures of it and maybe a video to show you with the glass panel off. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is sweet. My very first PC that I'm selling. Perfect, love it. See you guys soon, bye. I'm back because I forgot to mention, why did I set up the reset switch to change the RGB? Well, that's because the RGB on the motherboard control, it's not that great. Eh, it's fine, it's got a, a couple cool features on there, but the effects on the controller are a lot better. So that's why I chose to do that. So, and the fans are ARGB, whereas the um, motherboard, the cooler, and the fans on the cooler are just regular old RGB. So nothing super exciting, but is it fun? Yes, it is. Anyway, um, yep, so perfect. Uh, I don't know what's coming next in the video, but you'll find out in 0.5 seconds. Cool. Alrighty, ladies and germs. This is going to be the B-roll. The B-roll. Okay. Clean cable management, probably some of my best work. It's probably some of my best work, bro. Because these cables uh, are going up into that little guy right there. Can't even tell. Can't even tell, my boy. Nothing you can really do about these cables down here. They're gonna show, you know, especially this little section right here. But, tis what it is. Pretty, oh, focus, focus. Pretty clean cable management in the back here, especially with this big old controller right here. Pretty nifty. And I manage these cables, it won't focus. I manage these cables here so you don't, when you got the panel on, all you see is that one loom of wires, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? And especially when you got the black panel on, you know, you won't see the space. You know what I mean? Boom, you won't see all that where my handle just was. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, first sale. I'll go over specifics in just a moment. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the PC has been sold. I got 650 cash. Well, actually, he was gonna pay 650 cash, but I forgot to bring the extra cable extensions that came with the extension kit that I bought. Um, so I gave him 20 bucks back because you know it's the right thing to do. I didn't have I didn't give him a complete package. So 20, 30 bucks will buy him um, another set of extension cables if he wants to upgrade in the future because it only came with an eight pin cable uh, to hook up to the 1660 Super. So if he wants to upgrade to like a 3060 Ti or something like that in the future, he's gonna need an extra cable for that. He doesn't have it. So that's why I gave him an extra 20 bucks back. Okay, now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> My first PC sale ever, baby. A nice, crisp, refreshing bevy. Bevy is an alcoholic beverage, whereas a bev is a non alcoholic beverage. Crisp, refreshing, medium flavor. I'm gonna hold it with this hand, man, because my left hand's getting tired. Now I have to. Oh, here's my room. <laughs> my PC dungeon. Anyway, look, look at the pigsty. Look at this pigsty for me scrambling to to sell this PC, man, trying to find all the parts for him. But um, like I said, this 
video, this uh, PC sale was very impromptu. I, you know, he hit me up and I <laughs> didn't expect it to sell it this fast because most people, they hit me up and then they ghost me. They don't come through. So he finally did. So kudos to him, man. Appreciate you, bro. So I sold the PC for 630. I think I probably spent about that much because it's kind of hard to tell because I buy bundle deals sometimes and then I'll swap parts. Like I'll buy a complete PC, let's say for 500 bucks. And then I want to swap out the GPU because I found a good deal on a GPU. So maybe I bought that GPU for 200 bucks and then I swap it out and then I take the, P the GPU that was originally in that complete PC and I'll put, you know what I mean? So I, I part swap <laughs> a lot. So, well, maybe not a lot. But, you know, so I can't really get like a definite for sure figure of what I spent. But I would say I spent probably around $600 on this PC. So I made 30 bucks. Let's just say I made 30 bucks. That's cool, man. Um, I just have fun building these PCs. And if I turn around a little profit, that's cool. You know what I mean? For the time spent. Anyways. Hey, guys, I'm editing this video and I wanted to insert this to make my either profits or losses as accurate as possible in the Flip That PC playlist. So um, calculating everything that I spent back then, cause I, oh, I'm sorry, I built this PC a year and a half ago. So I spent about $620 building this PC. I sold it for 630, therefore I made $10. So um, I actually count this as a win, even though I didn't you know, I didn't make a lot of money off of it. I count it as a win because I built this a year and a half ago. So parts were more expensive back then. Um, I mean, to be fair, some parts now with inflation are worth more money, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's not that huge of a gap between now and then. But I didn't lose any money and that's the main thing, okay? Um, but from now here going forward, um, I learned a couple things about Facebook Marketplace because that can shadow ban you, which is a whole nother <laughs> video on a, on a whole nother day. But if you're interested in seeing like a flip that PC, like tips and tricks video on how to sell PCs and uh, look for deals and all that kind of stuff, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. But main point being, I made 10 bucks, not a big profit, but I didn't lose any money. So there's that. I count it as a W, okay? So now let's get back into the video. First PC sale, great, love it. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And be on the lookout for more future videos on Flip That PC. This is episode, I don't know, because like I said, this is an impromptu video. I don't know where to insert this in my lineup of videos. But anyway, it's been your friendly neighborhood goon, Chuo Loco. Peace be with you.